What's up, everyone? Happy Saturday. Uh, so last night started um, the brand new win streak. Just want to go over my plays a little bit, and then I'll get into my uh, top four or five plays. Um, in the video, I was on Drummond, and I was on Luka Doncic. And around, like, 15 minutes before, like, the first slate of games, Doncic was questionable. And I didn't want to wait around to see if he was going to be healthy, so I switched it to Beal. I think Beal was $100 more. And it paid off. <laughs> Big way. Um, I told you, whoever, if Town sits, grab his replacement. Taj Gibson went off. I love the Robin Lopez. I found him kind of late yesterday. Only 0.9% played him, but he's starting. I guess because uh, the Magic are good against centers. I didn't even know what he did. He had 18 and 6 and 3 and 6. That's, he, I mean, like, on a better game, he gets over 10 rebounds. But So he's in their offensive game plan right now, and as, as well as he deserves to be. Um, Ariza, oh, it's hard to pick what games Ariza's going to play good on. Avery Bradley stepped up. He's only 4% known, which, which was kind of surprising. And then Kemba Walker, basically... Because he's going against the Wizards, I had I had a feeling that it was going to be Kemba Walker versus Beal, and it was for most of the game. Kemba Walker only had like twenty seven points going into the fourth quarter, so he really stepped it up big. He's got a lot of assists lately. So yeah, um, I like played two double ups in a single uh, GPP tournament, cashed in everything, so it was a pretty good day. We're gonna jump ahead to today though. Let's see if I can do this right without showing you my whole lineup. NBA. There's 11 games late tonight. So I'm just going to try to do it without showing you my lineup. And create a new lineup. Okay, so like yesterday, I wanted to play Westbrook. I didn't, and he scored 81. It's fine. Um, it backed, a lot of players are on back to backs today. So it really doesn't matter who you pick from the high end, they're all going to be playing back to backs. And I do like Westbrook. And I'm going to show you how you can pair him up with either Paul George or LeBron James. I think everyone's going to go for Westbrook and Paul George tonight. Is roughly so. I think I'm leaning towards Westbrook and LeBron. It's more iffy. Uh, but LeBron has triple-double potential. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's it's hard to fade Paul George tonight. But I'm going to show you how you can get up to two out of those three players. Starting, we're going to go back to the well. We're just going to plug in Avery Brown in the end. It doesn't matter how how low or high owned he's going to be. He, this could be the night for he scored, like, 15 fancy points. But I don't think so. Also, I like a couple of Heat players. I never played Deion Waiters. But it looks like he's getting more runs. He's getting 30 minutes plus. It's too cheap. Basically, the value is there. Um, the Pistons, not, they're like middle of the pack defensively. And then I never played Dwayne Wade this year. Yeah, but I think tonight's the night. Unless... Unless you can find someone a little bit cheaper that can hit 30 plus, which I don't think he can on the slate. But, you know, if value opens up to like a $3,400 player, I'd take that player over Wade. But he's getting a good run, at least 25 to 30 minutes a game. This game, I think, in Miami, should stay relatively close. And I think, like, Dwayne Wade and Deion Waiters, they're more reliable than like an uh, than like um is it Olenek for the heat so okay so the fourth player I think we can find in this four thousand range let's see I think every, like everyone went off last night um they like Dwayne Devin went off last night uh who was it I think Oh, Bogdanovich, he really went off. No, he did not, not that much. I was thinking of him last night where Jackson really went off. 55, yeah. 
Whew. Safe to say that Reggie Jackson won't do that again <laughs> this year. Man, if you had him, that'd be good for you, though. Nice, cheap play. But let's see. Jared Allen's a good GPP play for me, I think. Like Jeremy Grant, Wes Matthews, Marvin Williams, um, Joaquin Noah went off last night for sure. I think Reggie Bullock is a good cheap play. A solid play. I might throw him back in. Robin Lopez. I think you can play him again tonight. He's not going to be 0.9% owned anymore unless no one paid attention to that Magic Bulls game, which is could be possible. <laughs> but I like Robin Lopez. You can put him in. Let's go on the cheaper plays. Dang. Ugh. I think his run's over. If, again, there's no Carl Anthony Towns, plug in Taj Gibson. So I think, like, based on how the, the rest of the day goes, you might be able to find a lot of plays down here. But I, like, I do like Robin Lopez. What about Bogdanovich? I think he's taken over starter minutes. Uh, Marvin Williams was high on him. I didn't play him yesterday, but Marvin Williams, you can't go wrong on. And again, Brooklyn Nuts, terrible against the big men. Even plugging Sarge again. There's just so many plays tonight. Wes Matthews, Jimmy Grant, I mentioned. But also, a little sneaky play might be Colin Sexton. If, like, if, if you had one, if you got to, like, one player left and you have, like, 52 to 48, like, to like 5,000 left. Then you, and you kind of want to roll the dice tonight. I wouldn't roll out Colin Sexton. Oh, I remember who I was going to play. <laughs> so my fourth player that I'm going to play. Sorry, guys. Um, I named a whole bunch of players there that I like, which I think they're all in play for now. But Ed Davis. Like, I had Robin Lopez in a 4,000. If Kyrie Irving plays, wouldn't that be a game be a blowout? So, if Kyrie doesn't play, I'm looking at Robin Lopez, but Ed Davis. Come off the bench. It's kind of risky to play bench players. But, I don't know. Actually, I don't know who's going to. I was going to say, wouldn't the Hornets have his game in hand? But the Brooklyn Nuts are pretty good still. It doesn't matter if it's a blowout or close. Ed Davis can get his minutes. He's might be a little risky. So if you can afford a Robin Lopez, probably, but if you want a closer game, look at Ed Davis. Alright guys, this is gonna be my uh top plays for today. So these are plays where they'll allow you to pay up for your superstar, whether it be LeBron, Westbrook, Paul George, um someone I didn't even mention. But yeah, just um keep researching today and see if you can find any other value and uh yeah, I'd love to hear your comments below. Thank you so much for subscribing, for liking, and let's win some money tonight to get our streak up to two, and I will see you guys later.